What does it take to solve problems, help others, and improve the world around you? Curiosity, creativity, perseverance. What it takes are the skills of an engineer. Hi, my name is Mo, and I work on the Next Generation Satellites. From an early age, Mo was curious about space and how rockets and other spacecraft traveled across the solar system. Now at Boeing, he is leading a team of engineers to design, build, and launch revolutionary new satellites. It all started from just looking up into space, uh, looking at planets, looking at stars, uh, thinking about how satellites worked, thinking about how the space shuttle program worked, and rockets in general. Uh, all inspired me at first to think about what it takes to be an engineer. There are many different types of engineers. Mechanical, aerospace, electrical, and software, who must work together to launch a satellite into space. Mo is a systems engineer who makes sure that all the parts these engineers build work together. System engineering is all about teamwork. People come together, break down something to smaller pieces, and put them back together to get that final product. Mo and his team need to think about how every part of a satellite fits and functions together at every stage of its journey into space. It's a lot like solving a puzzle, except this puzzle changes at every step along the way. These puzzles that change throughout the journey are called dynamic constraints. So dynamic constraints, it's really easy just to think about the last constraint, which is putting a satellite into the rocket. But we really have to think about the journey the satellite goes on before it gets there. So that constraint changes over time. From building and testing the satellite in their facility, to transporting it to the launch site, to putting it in a capsule on top of the rocket, and finally to launching it into space, each stage of the satellite's journey has unique challenges that require unique solutions. The two key things that need to be packaged to a satellite rocket are the solar wings and the antenna reflectors. And once we get into space, those things have to open back up. And we have to really think about how we're actually going to release a pin or maybe use a little explosion to let go of the solar wing so it could fall back out without getting stuck. As a systems engineer, not only does Mo and his team think about how to design, build, and transport the satellite, he also has to think about how the satellite will open up once it goes into space. Imagine opening a satellite in extreme temperatures that has no air and no gravity. The crazy environment of space adds another dynamic constraint that Mo has to work with during the entire journey of the satellite. With so many dynamic constraints, a systems engineer's job is really important. They get to lead a team to solve problems and create amazing machines. If you want to be really successful in system engineering, you have to, one, be able to think about the big picture, but also you have to think about how all the little pieces play together. Ready to design your own self-deploying device? Check out the activity on Curiosity Machine.